All right, here we go. We're going to be playing Stray on day three, part three. So let's get to it, shall we? <clears throat> now, where we were, we're in the slums and we spoke to Momo, which is the head of the Guardians or something, and we gave him information. Now we need to figure out what to do next. So let's figure out where to go. All right. All righty. Need a little gadget dude to do his job. What's this? Looks like this poor guy also wanted to go to the upper level. Yes, I remember. Midtown is up there, away from all the garbage and sickness in the slums. Even dire times queue would not help but divide themselves by social class. Then a lot of people from the slums were prepared to do anything to move up here. Apparently robots also copy this behavior. So... It is signed Clementine, Galabatazar, Doc, and Momo. This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. <laughs> this is going to according the plan. We managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down. They are in a place called Midtown, and apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. Six moment earlier, his eyes, I know this look, he will not come with us. Okay. So we, we, we really know, we actually do know, where Momo's at. He's in that house up there. With the massive sign, yes. This way, this way. So we're gonna head over there. Towards the red sign. Yep. No, no, no. Up, up. Before we do that, real quick. Uh. Yeah. You're just gonna. So this is this is Momo's house right here. Okay, so where is Clementine at? That's what we need to do. We need to find Clementine. Clementine is a level person with a note notebook or something like that. Yeah. yeah. I'm not really sure where Clementine is. How do we get up? Hold on a minute. Maybe there's something over there. Thank <laughs> you. 
So we need to go to the upper flats. So I'm thinking we should, if, if there's a way up this. Is there any way we can go up, you know? Because that looks pretty high up there. pleasing to watch but I want to see the real sky one day maybe there's something over here I found a keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. Oh, we got keys. It's not enough to bury your safe behind a book. Oh, so the safe is behind a bunch of books. Okay, so what do we need to find? There's the clue right there. This game is tricky, but there's, it does have clues every now and then. So we gotta do is find this safe. <laughs> I develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human. Volume 42. safe behind books. have to find what is it opens now.
opens up a safe apparently behind books. There's a ton of books in here. Hold on, what's this? Found something. Right in front of us. Found it. Right here. Yes. Nice work, another notebook. After weeks, uh, I've, I've combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be capable of warding off these zerks on our way out. <coughs> the initial attempt was explosive. I might have tested it un under real conditions. Let's find out other notebooks. Okay, that's cool. So we got ourselves a notebook. Sweet. Oh, so let's see what kind of notebook it is before we go anywhere. Doc's notebook. So it seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I've combined. So Doc. <coughs> <coughs> Let's try and find this guy called Duck. You know, maybe that's Duck down there. Who's this? Hector. Doc isn't going to be there. Let's be honest. Somebody's in here. Guardians can go through this door. Grandma made me these clothes, pretty stylish, no? Who's this? Grandma. Oh, 
Grandma clothing. Look for dark. I'm not looking for grandma. Huh? Anything over here? Nothing. Nothing we could use. What's this? Did you drink? Humans were the first residents around here. It seems that they're all dead now. What do you think? It feels like being dead. I know it's really coming from, silly coming from me, but are they actually dead? Yeah, that's kind of strange. But we did add ourselves a memory to the a memory banks. That's nice. See if he lets us in. Stuck in your bag, man. Okay, that's better. Yeah. Oh, here you go, another one. I don't know the digi code. There's a lot of codes over here. The sewers is condemned. Can we get over this? Yes, we can. 
Bartimaeus Super Spirit. Zerks. And yeah, there's those little bugs. You want something? There's like a looks like a window's open right there. Oh, it's boarded up. I think we should try and get up there though. So maybe you could re-talk to Momo about it. The guy in the sign up there. Right. We need to go up. Up, 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 up. Only way is up. Back to Momo, yeah? Yes. Still looking for notebooks. That one. That machine, I need to speak to the actual Momo himself. <laughs> now, let's ask him about Doc. Okay, so that's what Doc looks like. He has like curly hair. <laughs> Alright, so we're looking for a curly haired robot <laughs> named Doc. <laughs> Alright, 
Gotcha. Now we kind of know what he looks like. Might make it a little bit easier. Up there, oh, it's, it's kind of like fenced off a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Power supply. So we're taking that out. Okay. Now we didn't investigate this very much last time, so maybe there's dock in here. Last notebook, here we go. So it's a note to this book. I found a design flaw in transceiver, but I think figured it out to figure it out. Here's a question. With this, we should be able to help when we repair the transceiver. We can be okay with the upper levels that could be our way up. So what we have. So we can go back to mobile now. Okay, but how do I get out of here? Anxiety. I don't know how to get out of it. 
cat so trapped. Out of here was for that ventilation duct. Which I cannot climb back out from. Okay, we're kind of stuck right now, so uh, I'm going to cut the video right now. You guys let me know how I can get out of this room. Let me know in the comment section below, because I haven't got a clue how to get back out. Appreciate you guys, and I'll check you guys in the comments. Thank you for showing up, and I'll see you guys soon.